All right, we're back. Week four, budget build, TRX4 Sport. Got it here sitting on the table. I want to go over a few things with y'all. We've got the website going full blast. It's ready to go. It's loaded with all the inventory. Everything's set up. It's been working really well. You guys have been using it. Uh, we used it on Labor Day for 10% off. Worked, that worked really well, too. Um, thanks, everybody, for that. Appreciate it. So this week, we're going to do something simple. We're going to do bead locks. We're going to do wheels. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to do... I've already done two, so we're going to do the other two, and I'm going to show doing that. It's very, fairly simple. The biggest thing I'm going to show you is the process to remove your tires, your stock tires, from your wheels, your stock wheels. All right, so the, the, what you do is you get a quart of acetone. You can go buy it at Lowe's. I think Walmart has it. I haven't looked at Walmart, so I'm sure they do, though. Everybody has that stuff. So you can go to Lowe's and go over to the paint section. You can get a little can of acetone. I'll paint it right there. And you get two gallon paint cans. Now, this is how I did it. This is not how everybody does it, but this is the way to do it. Two gallon paint cans, and you use some sort of a block. I use my pavers from the crawl course, and it set it up a good distance, and then you pour acetone in it. You don't have to fill it all the way up. Just put a good inch worth of fluid in it. Put the rock in it or stone or whatever it is you use to, to space it up. You set the two wheels and tires in it. You can do two in a gallon jug at a time. I would do them up, up and down horizontally. Don't lay them flat like this because I've found out that that doesn't really work too well. So if they're up and down, it lets the fumes get to it enough and it just makes it where the just paint just or the glue just separates. And then you can sit there with that and you can just peel the tire off just like that. It's nothing to it. Comes right. It just peels right apart. Easy to do. Nothing to it. So you'll see i'll show pictures there'll be pictures coming across with the gallon jug and everything like that so we'll do that i'm going to pan over here just like we did before show you how to everybody most everybody knows how to put on bead locks but just for those that don't so what we're actually going to run is the boom racing 16 hole 1.9 classic steelies in black uh, this is kind of gives it that classic retro look which is what i'm going for for this truck i love the, the old styling of this truck and we're also going to install some locked up RC scale hardware. I had some laying around. Um, so we'll do that. Just uh, hang tight and I'll be back over here in just a second. All right, we're back. So I've got the two side wheels and tires over here. We're going to take them off real fast. I had not done it too tight to put it back together just to show you guys. By the way, when you use these these steelies you do not reuse your wheel nuts it comes with them because of how small the spot is on the actual wheel itself uh, which is not not a bad thing so to speak but so I'm gonna take that off I'll take that off of course that's gonna go back here all right so we got the wheel and tire of course it looks like it's nothing but you can just just peel it apart so like you can see it they Traxxas use a what we call monkey snot it's yellow glue so that's and you don't even really have to do anything with the beads on here they'll be they'll be okay i do got to remember that i need to put them on this side so the rotation on these so that one needs to be like that and that one needs to be like that all right so we'll get these wheels out boom has the tightest packaging ever And by the way, these are $30 a pair, so you'll spend $60 uh, on both of them. It comes with all the hardware in the wheels. It comes with center caps that come out. It has a front and a rear set the, to give it the illusion of a, a locking hub is what the front does. And it also comes with your wheel nuts. A washer to go behind said wheel nuts and a little bit of a longer bolt to help put your tire on that's what it's there for and also this is the the tool to put the wheel nut on that's what it's designed to do it's designed to get down inside of there because normal seven millimeter will not fit in there all right so we'll do the first one i use utter butter can to hold my wheel that's what i use on that so we're going to take we'll take this apart really fast and then we'll go from there
I'm going to show the first one putting it together uh, and then we will probably go into a time lapse of some sort I can't really figure out how to I can't figure out how to edit it to do it in uh, try to speed it up so it's in fast so you all you want to put nah, I did that wrong hang on put the ring in first really tough with these stock wheels I, I'm not a fan of these tires at all they are uh, I mean they, they work okay on you know when you're driving but as far as this part right here whew, it is no good it's a totally different setup it's horrible not a fan so take you that put that there put that on biggest thing you want to do is make sure that it is on the bead like it's supposed to be you press down give it a little bit of a press that kind of thing there now this is where the fun part is with these tracks is tires they are not there the bead itself is a little bit bigger than most beads so that gives us a little bit of a hard time putting wheels on so what I've done is is I, I take the plate of course the boom has a plate on it that's how this thing works here so you take it get it as close as you can you know as about as close as you can get it of course you're not gonna be able to really see this with this camera angle that I have here but to give you the idea and what I do is press on it to make sure that it looks like it's gonna hold the bead like I do that I bend on it like that kind of thing there the good thing you can do though is kind of start a bolt at least one of these longer bolts at least get it started and put a little bit of pressure on it use the second one uh, and always go across from it you always want to do a, a star pattern kind of deal always a cross pattern um, just because it usually works better that way Let's see if I can get this one started here yep, there it goes there all right so now that that's done there the biggest thing to do is to make sure we're even on the back and the front back's good the front looks like how about this one went on very a lot more easier than the other one did well, the other the other two I did but they were, they were not easy to do so get them tightened down a little bit here and then you take the stock the, the ones that come in it and then you put those in that way at least get those started you can use those you won't want to put too much pressure onto them because they will break I have actually broke one on another set of wheels I was doing um, so put these in so you can see how I've got the two long ones that come with it then the three that came in it so we'll do that so what we'll do is we'll get those well you keep continuously tight tighten them in a star pattern till you get the bead down or you get the, the face of the wheel down enough to hold it and then you can release the big one the big long ones and put a smaller one in it in its place always when you're constantly when you're doing that constantly check your beads and make sure your bead is still tight because uh, if not you'll wind up causing the bead to pop out now these long ones get too long they are too long to go all the way down so that what they'll do is they'll wind up bottoming out so you can't use those anymore so what I'm gonna do is actually go ahead and put no I'm not I'm gonna wait I'm gonna wait I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna wait. Put that one in not gonna put the scale bolts in just yet all right so I'll go to tighten these down here don't put too much pressure on them just do it a little bit just enough that you know it's getting tight that's kind of the idea there. And you can look at it and you can see where the face is flush with the wheel itself. The center housing I always check it just to make sure all 
All right, so we're good on that. So now that that's done, we'll do the second one in just a minute. So what I'm going to do is actually put these scale bolts in here. Um, I'm not going to count these towards my budget because I had I've had these laying around for a while, so they don't really count. But if they if you were to count them, I think they're about seven dollars and fifty cent for twenty five or something like that. So they're not too bad. You use a two millimeter. This is my two millimeter wrench that I sell. It's in the website, and you take it and use it on these. You know, I'll just try and see if I can pan in there. It is a completely scale bolt. So what you do is you'll take one of these out each, just one at a time. Don't take them all out at the same time because then you'll these will these will never do that. But you do have to be careful with these scale bolts, as they are a little bit more in. I, I believe they'll tear up a little bit easier than say a hex bolt will because uh, they're not designed to be taken on and off on and off multiple times so it does kind of worry me that i will be taking these tires off eventually anyway that i will be removing this these i might do them one at a time and put back another bolt just to hold it in place for now or when i go to take it apart i mean because that would be i would hate for them to either strip out or strip the housing itself or the, the end of it strip, you know, the, the head of it strip out and you'll never be able to get it out. That's always a worrisome thing there. Especially in the RC world because this stuff is so small, it's really hard to, you know, get most of this stuff apart properly when that happens. So, so we're almost done here. So, i get this one done here. Got one more to go and we'll tighten it up and then I'll put it on the truck show you how to do that and then... I'll do the other one, but the other one I'll speed up. I'm not going to let you sit here and watch this again. This is quite boring. And probably that whole time you couldn't even see it. <laughs> now that I think about it. Alright, so those are in there. So you can see it. The scale bolts. They look just like regular, like real deal bolts. Locked Up RC is who makes them. There is actually nobody else that makes these. Uh, that I have found anyway. I've been looking for other suppliers just to see if I could find some. So we'll take these bolts here, move them to the side, take the hill, move it to the side, move that over, like that, like that. And these wheels clear the TRX4 portals also. They actually clear them very well. No problems whatsoever as far as that goes. So we'll do that, tighten that, that's good. The only downside of these things, I do not like how they tighten, it's hard to tighten these things as that is all the way tightened and it still looks like it's loose. So I got to look into that. I think it has more to do with even these that I have already done, they're loose as all get out. So. And I've tightened it down a lot. So it probably means I need a spacer, a widener, which I have. So I have those in stock. So I can use that if need be. All right. So just give me a minute. I'll be back. We're going to talk about some other stuff. I've got some ideas for some. Um, I've always, Remember I always said in the beginning I wanted to make this thing lower. Well, I've figured out a way to do that. This might not be the best way. We're going to try it out and figure it out. And we'll go over that in just a minute. So I'll be back. We're going to time lapse the next, the next wheel and tire setup. So just hang tight. Installing these wheels and tires, they do not fit on these the portals. I thought they would. It looked like they would, but I'm going to wind up using these GPM. They make a nine. This is a nine millimeter adapter, hex adapter. So we'll try it on this one first. This front one. I can pull it off real quick and at least attempt it. See how it does. If it, if it will at least tighten, we're at least in the good good thing there. So let's put that on there. Right two mil. They could have kept it the same one and a half mil, you know, that would have been that'd just be too simple, wouldn't it? Alright, so let's try this. So now the 
big question that I have is, oh, you can. So it does have enough space in there to use the original, instead of using the original wheel nut that comes with the wheel, instead of having to use their, this thing here, which I'm not a big fan of that anyway. It looks like that stuff will fail pretty quickly. So let's try that out first. Now, my biggest <clears throat> gripe that I have with these wheels are this is this stupid little tool here that is not quite what they could have done to make this a little bit better is is to have it set up for say a quarter a quarter mil you know like this right here so it could be you know like a quarter mil ratchet so you can put a ratchet on or put you know whatever you can use on it to at least tighten it down because right now you do not have that option i mean that's not really anything really good. I think you can put something through that, which that may work too, but ain't nobody want, don't nobody want to do that anyway. So I use this. <laughs> and that tightens it down. So let's see if that's loose at all. Nope, not loose at all. Gives you a little bit more track anyway, so that's good. So we'll do that. Let's go ahead and do that. I'll take all these apart. Because what I think they're doing is, I think the nut is bottoming it out on the the stub that sticks out that four mil stub i don't think it allows it to if you can look at it yeah that's what it's doing so so good there you can't have that Gonna wind up needing that. Use the tool to push the washer on. That's the way to do it there. Ooh, it's so tight in this thing here. You cannot. There you go. down tight no more wobble like this one has okay all right i'll be back in a minute i'm not gonna bore you with the other two hang tight okay let's talk free mod time uh not really a mod so to speak uh but as you know this truck is really really high it sits really high factory so but the good thing about it is these big bore shocks the tr the new trx4 big bore gts shocks are adjustable so only thing I did was I just took the body off of it of course and you just take the purchase and screw them all the way down and you screw them all the way down then you screw them back down back up just enough to keep pressure on the spring when it's all the way down and what that does is basically puts it in a droop setting droop means it's low down and it's the shock is compressed all the way it's a great deal I use it on a lot of other trucks I've sold a lot of droop style shocks um, so I, I tested this the other day and it works out great. The only thing that I do actually worry about is whenever you are at an articulation spot in a full articulation, the spring is rather loose inside of it. And what can actually happen is, is this spring perch on the bottom can come loose. Now the fix for that is, is buying a set of beef tips from Dan Davidson at Beef Tubes. He keeps beef tips in stock for, and I think the SCX 10 ones fit there but he may have TRX 4 ones I plan to get a set because it's a completely sealed set so the spring will not go the perch won't go anywhere the only downside you actually do have to worry about is the spring just flopping around there but while you're at you know full articulation it doesn't really matter the great thing about this though it sits it down it sits the body super low it sits it where I want it I mean I love that look I love the, the hardly any fender gap Plus it makes it stance and plus it just makes it look all around just badass in my opinion. So 
of course there's my front bumper this is the style of the new one i'll have it it's going to be a little bit more i'm gonna have a bar running across to run the go over this line here on this body and then but i got a secret for the other part of it too so of course all that will be cleaned up it'll look a lot better but all in all this week did pretty well so i'll be back in just a second All right, I'm back. That wraps up week four of the budget build on the TRX4 Sport. Done a lot, made the truck look a lot better. Got the stance lower, which that's a free mod, so that's good there. Uh, we spent $60 on the wheels, and we wound up spending $10 on the GPM spacers, so we spent $70. Uh, we had $94 from last week, so we've got $20, 20 or so dollars left that's not a whole lot of money to roll over next week but i've got us planned for next week already i'm just waiting on one more part to come in for that uh give you an idea so we'll do that it'll be fun want to thank everybody again thanks for watching click like subscribe do all that i appreciate it so much tell your friends come watch i know i don't make the greatest videos out there but so it'll be okay Speaking of which, this weekend we will be at the RW Play uh, Store in Ocala, Bellevue, Florida, Ocala, for the Ultimate Scale Southeast Challenge uh, run by Corey Allen. Uh, it's a good deal to come up. There's going to be a bunch of people. I won't be there selling uh, as RW does not allow other people to come and sell on their property as they're a hobby shop, which is okay. No big deal. Um, but I'll be there. Come say hey. I'll have my family. I'll have two of my four kids with me. We'll all have our trucks and we'll be having a good old time. Even to get the wifey out there. Get her into a truck. Hopefully she'll get hooked. So um, That's this Saturday the 8th at RRW in Bellevue, Florida. So come down there. I'll put a link in the description. Uh, I'll have a link in the description for the Facebook page. Right now we have a raffle, sticker raffle going on for the new the Proline uh, MT 4x4 basher truck it's their roller it comes as a kit you got to put electronics in it but tickets are $12 a ticket uh, there's a chance you could win a truck for $12 so come I'll put the link in the description for the Facebook page I'll also put link in the description for the website that's up and running we're good to go on that so I'll be adding new parts in the next week I got a big load coming in hopefully at the end of this week towards the first of next week so we'll get some more parts in we'll get some trucks in so just have a look out on that and Thanks, everybody. I appreciate it. Love y'all.